Now, if all of this talk of Mother's Day has made you panic a little bit, then fear not. We are here to help. Well, we're not, but our next guest is. Please welcome Junior Bake Off Champion Reese. Yeah. Reese, welcome to Blue Peter. I couldn't help but notice you've brought a wonderful little trophy with you, haven't you? Yes, this is my Junior Bake Off uh, trophy. That is wonderful. Now, how did it feel to win? such an incredible competition. It was amazing. To get on in the first place was incredible. So to win is like completely mind-blowing. Now we can see some of the bakes, some of the magnificent bakes that you made right there. And it looks like a bit of a shame to eat them because they're so, so wonderful. Thankfully though, there's nothing anywhere near as complicated today, is there? No, this is a very easy Mother's Day recipe. Okay, tell us, talk us through it. So we're making coconut and mango sandwich biscuits today. Woo! Wonderful. Woo! They sound Delicious. Now we've got some Blue Peter fans to bake along at home with as well. So please welcome Zach, Mac, Seb, and Angel. Hello, Hi. can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Mac, you're wearing a wonderful hat. Tell us about this hat, please. Um, so for Christmas, my dad gave me this baking hat because he knows I bake. That's wonderful. Sounds good. Angel, tell us, how did you get into baking? Well, um, during lockdown, um, my grandma was teaching me how to make carrot cake. Wonderful. That sounds delicious. Now, um, talking of today's bake, though, if you want to get involved, which of course you do, then here are the ingredients. And as you can see, there are an absolute ton, so don't worry about jotting them down just yet. They're all going to be on the Blue Peter website for you to check out after the show. But, Reese, the floor is yours. Please lead the way. So, first we've got our softened butter and uh, sugar in a bowl. Yes. And you just want to combine that till it's nice and soft and one colour. Uh, it just looks nice and fluffy. Yes. Once you've got good. that, then you want to start adding your dry ingredients, which is your plain flour and your desiccated coconut. Cool. Now, um, desiccated coconut might be a bit of a controversial one. If you don't like coconut, then what could you replace it with? You could always replace the um, coconut with vanilla extract. It's just as good. Oh, but uh, I love both, so can we... Just have both? If yeah, you can always add both. OK, cool. Wonderful. So, as this is a little bit dry, you can always add a little bit of water, add a bit at a time, until it forms one nice, smooth, soft dough. OK. Uh, but, Reese, I need to ask, you've come such a long way with your baking, but where did it start? How did you get into it? Well, it all started where my mum got ill a couple of years back, and I used to bake for all the doctors and nurses, family and friends that used to help help my mum. That deserves a round of applause, doesn't yeah. it? That's wonderful. Yes. Go on, Reese. Now, this is taking quite a while, and we're only on air for 28 minutes, so where do we go from here? So, once it's all a nice, smooth dough, you want to get rid You want to roll it out yep. and just start cutting them out. So, here we have some dough that we have prepared earlier. Um, hey, there it is! <laughs> There it is. That's what we like. And you just want to use a heart-shaped cookie cutter and just start cutting them all out. So as you can see, there's like a line where the heart is. Yep. If you don't want to waste that with so much dough, where that line of the first heart is, you can put the next, second line near it, and then you waste less dough. You're a genius. You're a genius. And once you've done, how many do you reckon you should do? You, you should do? be able to get about 12 to 14 biscuits, yep. um, which will end up being about six or seven sandwich cookies. Wonderful. That's um, not enough for me, but plenty altogether. But what do we do from here? So uh, once once they're all cut out, you just want to put them on a baking tray mm -hmm. and get them in the oven. So here I have some cookies that are already cut out. Yep. And you want to put these in the oven. How long for? At 180 degrees for eight minutes, just okay. until the heart's uh, the brown, the heart's gone a little bit brown around the edges. That sounds good to me. But next is quite an important bit, isn't it? Yes, the filling time. OK, this is pretty integral to these biscuits. Talk us through it. So, um, for the filling, it's just a simple, like, mango-y, cheesecake -y filling. Mm -hmm. So we just want to chuck in all our wet ingredients, which is the mango puree um, and the honey. OK. Quite sticky. And then you just want to give that a little bit of a mix, and then you want to add in your icing sugar. OK, so all the wet ingredients first, then all the dry ingredients. Yep. Yeah. You just want to give that a stir. Whoa until it's all nice and it comes into a really nice soft dough. OK. Dough mixture. Now, while we do that, we're going to check in with our special guests. Angel, talk to us about how you celebrate Mother's Day. What do you do? So, in my family, with my grandma, we would make some carrot cake for my mum. And with my mum, we would go to the shops and buy something for my grandma. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And Mac and Seb, um, I hear that you've baked something pretty spectacular recently. Um, yes. I have baked a four-layer cake. Look at that! Wow. Oh, my gosh! Wow. 
That's for your mum's 40th birthday. Happy 40th birthday to your mum. I mean, Reese, what did you think of that? It looks amazing. That's absolutely incredible. Well done. Doesn't it? Right. Um, <laughs> we haven't got that much time here on Blue Pizza, as I said before. So we're going to skip forward to this. This is what it should look like. You've got a little piping bag, haven't yes. you? Because you're a pro. <laughs> what do we do from here? So now, obviously, because there is, a, they are sandwich biscuits, so you need two per biscuit. So mm -hmm. however many you've got, just split them in half, and you want to fill half of them. Okay. Just like a V shape, just to fill them up. Uh, yeah, or just spoon it on like I have. Or and, just spoon it on. But yeah. I think I might put a little bit too much on. Uh, don't do what Rich is doing. Don't do what I do. <laughs> ever. You want to put the right amount on. <laughs> But you only, you only do half of the biscuits, don't you? Yes. So then you and then you should have something like this. So it's nice, a nice, simple sandwich biscuit. Yeah, right? something like that. Not like what I've done. But I think it's time for the taste test. Yes. The, the best sound part. Bar. Right. But we need to bring in all of the mums to get involved. Mums, join us, please, because this is all about you, and we want you to carry out the all-important taste test. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! How are they? It's all good. Yeah. Right, I'm going to wait. I'm going to do my taste test when I haven't got any more words to do because I don't want to talk with my mouth full because that'll be rude. But if you want to make these, which of course you do, then dive on the Blue Peter website where you will find all the ingredients, all of the details. And not only that, there's more on the Blue Peter website as well, including a make for a little box for the biscuits and cakes, a Mother's Day pop-up card, and also a random poem generator. We're really, really spoiling you. Now, Reese. Thank you so much for coming in on Blue Peter. I, I really needed your help. <laughs> and guys at home, thank you again so much for joining us. Please make some noise for our wonderful bakers. Yeah! <laughs> Lindsay, I'm going to eat this. So over to you. Oh, oh. Nice one. <laughs> Reese, you really are amazing. You're so good. Hiya, Marksy here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and for more Blue Peter, check out the BBC iPlayer.